after decades of being a devoted mom, Sushila Devi Bagudin decided to follow her dreams by building up an enterprise specializing in sweetmeats and wedding accessories. Having to choose between being a mom or having a career is a position no woman should ever be in. But there are times in life when one has to put certain priorities above others. However, inspiring women are proving that it's never too late to start pursuing your dreams and your goals. Sushi Bhagwanding is one of these inspired women and I cannot wait to meet her. Hello. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? I'm so lovely to see you. You too. Thanks, Carmen. Thank you. Did I mention that Sushi is actually Kajal's mum? Definitely a family full of beautiful and talented women. Thank you. Would you please introduce us? Absolutely. Well, there's my mum already busy in the kitchen. Mum. This is Karishma. Karishma, this Hi, is my mum, Sushi. Karishma, welcome to my kitchen. So lovely to meet you. Thank you for having me. So, I'm going to leave you ladies to the goodies and I'll see you in a bit. Yay! Yay. This looks exquisite. Come, Karishma, to show you what I do. Sushi, tell me a bit about your business and how did it come about? About five to six years ago, I had the empty nest syndrome and my daughter's married, gone to university and I needed to do something and I started with my passion. We come from a family of six girls and they are all excellent cooks and excellent bakers. I don't have the patience for baking, I'm more of an experimental cook type, but I'm so interested to learn to make some sweetmeats. What are you going to teach me today? Come Karishma, let's go and make some penda. Lovely. Come, let's go. Okay, okay Sushi, what are we going to be doing first? Okay, Karishma, we need powdered milk, 500 grams of powdered milk. You want to help me? Yes. You can put the milk in. Go. Wait. One cup of fresh milk. I'll do this part, Karishma. It's a bit messy. We just need to mix this up okay. and leave it to dry up for an hour and then we're going to blend. This is it. We now decant it. Oh, so it actually returns to a powdered form. Again. Again. Okay. All right. Bring it up here. 500 grams of icing sugar. Okay, now we're going to put our flavourings. Okay. Spices, cardamom, one teaspoon. I love that you don't use any measurements as well. I do the same way, <laughs> just with my hands. Okay, and a drop of rose essence. It's quite strong, so you just need a drop of it. And condensed milk. Oh, it smells beautiful already. You need about a cup of condensed milk. What consistency? Uh, the identical consistency of what we originally had. Perfect. Right, so what we're going to do is once this is done, put it in the blender again. Just made some space for us. Okay, Karishma, this is exactly how your panda is going to look. Now comes the exciting part. Karishma, we're going to add colouring to it. With Eid coming, Karishma, let's do a colourful Eid. Perfect. Right. right. You so want to go ahead? We need. You want to go ahead and do yes, it? Yes, I'd love to. Just mix it in until you get a lovely light pink. Is that looking That's good? it, Karishma. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now we need to mould. We've got this into a lovely bowl. Karishma, gloves are out. Perfect. Make them into tiny bite size. Okay. Watch this. Can we have the tray, Karishma? Of course. Look at that. What a clever trick! Okay, we go with the next one. Here yeah, we are. Cool. We set up there. Karishma, these are already the mixtures that are made. We can do the same and carry on lining them here. How's Beautiful. That? Sounds okay. good to me. One more trick. Watch this. This is a green. This is another mold. There we are. That is wonderful. Okay. Should we make a few more? Yes, we will. I'm going to try my hand at one. You've got to be bite size. Okay. That. I'm going to make a baker out of you. <laughs> but I think everyone yeah. in my family would yeah. love that. That's why we call it bite size mini mitais. Your business extends further than just Indian dessert treats. 
Awesome. Let's go. I'll show you what we do. So tell me what we have here. This is a personalized guest book covered with raw silk and we've got the Indian braiding, uh, initials of the bride and bridegroom. Then we have engagement and ring trays. Then we have the South Indian brides that they have to have hand-covered coconuts, Then, which has also now gone very, very popular, is the decorated motleys. Just start here, glue it down first, just so that it runs down. Have you had any memorable clients? Yes, I did. There was a client that came in with a uh, sari from her grandma. So she wanted some memory of her grandma to come. And actually, this is it. Right. This is parts of the sari. It must be about 60 years old or something. We cut pieces of it and we did that. That she used to walk down the aisle. Uh, this just carries on going down. Just keep going until you're done. Keep going to get the whole thing done. This is the end product of this. Right. What you can do is you take these here and you put it on. Right. Over and above that, what people do like, a Ganesh or idol on it. All right. That looks so beautiful and you could obviously do whatever you want. Yes, you can. I'm going to interrupt this decorating session because okay. I have a surprise for mom and you and I'd love for you to join us. Let's go. <laughs> Wow, this looks looks so mommy. delicious. So we have a, a lovely picnic that Kashmir was working hard at setting this all up for you. <laughs> but as you know, it's raining outside. It doesn't matter, Kajal, raining is a blessing for yeah, us. Yeah, exactly, uh -huh. and that's what yes. Kashmir was working very hard to plan this indoors for us. It looks amazing. How did you feel when your mum announced that she wanted to start this business? I think it was quite an organic process. She's always been very creative and it kind of just moved into a business. You know, she was doing it for family and friends and then through word of mouth, people heard about it and then suddenly this little hobby became a business and now she's this uh, business woman. Having started out making a few trays of sweetmeats for Diwali, Sushi's tiny home industry has evolved into a highly successful SME. She stuck to her tried and tested recipes using fresh, authentic ingredients, not the least of which is a generous dollop of love. 